Rock City Networks here at the PBS Studios in Melbourne. Joining me, Vince Peach, host of Soul Time. How are you, mate? I'm good. And yourself? I'm uh, I'm fantastic after seeing that uh, that display by the Sweethearts this afternoon. I oh, know what a good band and what a great bunch of young talent. You know, there's there's a future of Australian music. Yeah. All these guys. You know, there was 26 musicians, singers, and performers there. And, They'll all leave school in another year and they'll go out and form their own bands and, you know, so there's a wealth of talent out there, a wealth. It's amazing how much talent there is in this town of ours, amazing. And it's, so, it's exciting to see with a group like that too, like you said, they'll go out and form their own bands. There's, you know, possibly, what, 26 bands there, if not <laughs> well, more? could be, couldn't with they? Some, you know? With some serious talent in those yeah. as well. Well, there was some great play in there. The arrangements which they do themselves were all spectacular. The production was good. And the vocals, so singing there was exceptionally good. Yeah. yeah. Exceptionally good. Yeah. Now, now, Vince, let's talk a little bit more about Soul Time. Let people out there know uh, what it's about if they haven't seen it. Oh, pardon me, if they haven't heard it before on PBS. Well, Soul Time's been on air at PBS now for just over 25 years. And I believe that it is the longest running soul show in the whole world. Yeah. You know, there's been other soul shows that have gone on for longer, but not with the same announcers. Yeah. So I've been presenting Soul Time now since 1984. So, um, you know, it's good. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And because there's so much music out there, you know, I buy records every week. Every week there's new records arriving from the 60s and early 70s, which nobody played back then. So these things are only getting aired today, yeah. you know, 50 years on. And, and bands, hip hop bands, break bands, beat bands, they all use all this music as a base for what they do. So, yeah. you know, they come round my house and they hear things and they go home with their little samples and things, you know. And you never know, the next Fat Boy Slim could be walking yeah, yeah, yeah. down the street next week, who knows? Well, it was interesting you said before in the interview when you were talking with the Sweethearts that Australia really missed out on, on the whole movement. Uh, what I think you said the 60s and the 70s yeah, and, and yeah. sort of only really started to see it come through younger talent in the last 10 years. Well, uh, it was because, and I don't know why it was, Australia seemed to be a rock-based culture. You had the Mushroom Records, who were the mainstay of the, I suppose, independence outside of the mainstream, and they specialised on Australian rock music. Yeah. So soul music, blues, jazz, R&B, got very little air time in Australia, even though a lot of it was released here in the day because of the deals they had with the American labels to get Australian stuff released over there. So there was a wealth of stuff put out here, but it just never got no airplay. Yeah. You know, the radio in Australia in the, um, I don't know what it was like in the 60s and 70s, but when I came here in the 80s, it was terrible. Yeah. And commercial radio in Australia still is pretty abysmal, apart from maybe uh, Triple J, you know, all the others are crap, aren't they? You know, they are crap. Well, I don't listen know. to much radio anymore, if that, if that answers your question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody does. That's why stations like PBS are important, though, because we play stuff which nobody else plays. And we're on the leading edge with the new music, and we're also on the leading edge with the older style music, with shows like Soul Time, The Malt Shop Hop, Soul Drew 66. You know, nobody else in the world is playing this stuff. Yeah. And so, you know, we're very lucky here in Melbourne to have such a great thing like PBS. Extremely lucky. And talking about PBS, uh, the 18th to the 31st is the PBS Radio Festival. The launch party happening tonight. This is what we're uh, going out to do after we uh, have a chat to everybody else. And yeah, the Gun Street Girls are coming up soon. Yeah. They're in there warming up. Yeah, yeah. With the, for City Slang, this will also be a huge performance. It's been a huge day today with the detonators to start us off. And now we've got Kim's band in the other studio. Oh, it's going to be a big day. Looking forward to it. You're heading to the, uh, you're heading yeah, to the launch? Yeah, I'll go down there now and have some free food and drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come down and join you for a beer soon. Now, uh, if you want to uh, listen to Vince, you want to listen to his show, you want to find out more about him, you can go to soultime.com.au. Yeah. And also, uh, he, his show is on uh, 3 to 5 on Wednesdays on PBS 106.7. 
and go to the PBS website as well, pbsfm.org.au. For all your information on PBS, join up, become a member if you haven't, and uh, we're going to bring you heaps more from the PBS Radio Festival 2009. Vince. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining yeah, me on Rock City pleasure. Networks. My pleasure.